Please welcome to the Ozone, Joanne Calderwood. Super! Here's a heads up, folks. The women have uh, partially stolen the show in the back or, or in previous SFLs. And this woman plans on doing the same. While she is only 1 0 in mixed martial arts, she has 12 years of Muay Thai experience. She is always in incredible shape. And as with many of the women fighters, she recently had her opponent bail out. So she is stepping up here tonight. She was already in shape. Calderwitz keeps victory. Avoid the clinch. Force the fight. Make her bang. Get in exchanges. She's a power puncher. And avoid the ground game. Her opponent has a little advantage on the ground. Calderwitz got to keep this fight on her feet and get in the, in, in the big exchange. As we said, she is in great shape. She, she had already trained for a fight that fell through. And she says, hell yeah, I'll take that fight. And now, please welcome to the Ozone, Lena Ochenikova. You may remember this young lady from SFL1. An incredible performance she had to fight the loss. We call her behind the scenes the fifth element because of her piercing blue eyes and her resemblance to Mila Jovovich. But she has a very relentless and unforgiving style. She will take a risk at any time. She'll put herself in danger to put her opponent in danger. She looks in even better shape. She looks like she's in incredible shape. She looks like she put on a little muscle and lost a little fat. I see some veins in her shoulders. Very rare on a woman. Lena's got to take this fight to deep water. She's in great shape in this fight. You know, her last fight, she took on short notice. This fight, she had a long time to prepare for. She needs to keep the pace fast and furious. She has great submission. This fight goes to the ground, she has an advantage. So she should look to get the fight there. She does not care where she goes for submissions. Top, bottom, even in the midair, levitating. Tail of the tape. Joanne Calderwood of Scotland against Lena from the Ukraine. Not much of an age difference, a slight reach advantage going to Calderwood and an experience advantage to Lena. The ball is scheduled for three rounds of five minutes each. In the blue corner, she weighed in at 56.2 kilos. Her style, MMA. Her record, one win, zero loss. From Glasgow, Scotland, representing Dinky Ninja. She is the cyborg and yo, the little cyborg. Welcome, Joanne Calderwood. In the red corner, her official weight, 54.7 kilos. Her style, MMA and Muay Thai. With a record of eight wins and one loss from live Ukraine. Representing Team Union Gym, welcome. Lena Chenikova! <laughs> Referee for the fight, Yuji Shimada. Okay, no head about things, no grab the hands. Yuji Shimada okay. with the final instructions. CEO of the Super Fight League, Ken, Ken Pavia, joining us for yet another women's bout. Funny, isn't he? he? Always makes it here for the women's yeah, bouts. Yeah, that's ironic, isn't it? My favorite. You know, he always picks the prettiest women ready? fighters. <laughs> ready? <laughs> Absolutely. Ready? You know, Go. even though uh, Joanne only has one professional MMA fight, she has an extensive Muay Thai and stand-up background. So I think you're going to see a very exciting stand-up war. We match these girls up because we expected a stand-up stand and bang affair. Look at that! Nice right kick from nice Lena. Check. And check. <laughs> nice check. Oh, and she goes high. Call the one goes high with the right leg. Goes to the body with the left. Oh, nice counter right hand by Lena. Now look at look at the look on Lena's face. She's all business tonight, folks. Talking to both these girls before the fight, they're just so mild mannered and soft spoken. It's surprising how uh, how aggressive and dangerous they can be actually inside the cage. Oh, hard body kick by Lena. As I say, they're. Uh Girls or uh, ladies outside of the ring, and they're women once they step in there in the cage. Look at that. Wow. Nice. Wow. Back kick. 
spin it back. Lena comfortable on the ground. Oh, looks like she has a guillotine attempt here. Fighting for full guard. She needs to get sit back up. She needs to capture guard to get that guillotine though. Yeah, that... No, but she sat back up. She can get it from half guard. Trust me, I've been choked out there before. <laughs> <laughs> Calder would say it's strong. Calder would bail him a little bit. Like, that tight, must, that, that choke must be tight. Luigi Shimada whips out the gun and points it and says, "You're you're in potential danger. Look at Lena, stretching Lena her body arching, out. Stretching. Yeah, arching. Now, if she doesn't get this choke, this takes a lot out of your arms. This will take a significant amount of her cardio out. So, uh, and she's out. Calder would escapes. Lena, though, good job getting back to her feet. Nice job getting back to her feet. Oh, both of them exchanging uh, knees to the body. Yeah, knees to the body. As I say, said every broadcast we've had, when it involves women's fighting, they are less about ego and more about the fight because they don't get the opportunity to showcase themselves. Nice takedown by Calderwood. You know, maintaining, maintaining control of that side headlock. Calderwood slides off, puts a hook in. Uh oh, she has, she has to leave his back. Look at that. That, what an escape by Lena. Nice scramble, comes out on top and half guard. And that's what I meant about she puts herself in danger just, just to better herself. High risk, yeah, high, high risk, risk fighter. That's why we like it here at the SFL, all action. Again, am I wrong in thinking that, that these women's are in a progressive tournament and they're gonna meet, uh, winners are gonna meet each other down the road? Precisely, we're looking at a December event uh, kind of doing an elimination event. We were very pleased with Lena's performance, brought her back in, and... Uh, Calderwood looks like she's trying to set up an arm bar here. An arm bar, some, trying to stuff the, the triangle here, and she locks up the triangle. There she it is. She's setting that up for a while. Lena's in trouble here, Lena steps over. Oh, that's cinched. Lena's that's gotta cinched. blast her up. Lena's trying to slam out of it. A little bit of a slam page there. <laughs> uh oh, she's, this is tight. She's got the leg hooked, textbook. A lot of people don't bother to hook the leg, and we're seeing the women do it here. Call it's real wood. tight, it's real tight. I can't see Lena getting out of this. She's in big trouble. Lena tough though, she has a strong neck. <laughs> yeah, she's stepping over the face and head. She's got a tough neck. Oh, trying maybe... to posture out, oh, move the arm line out. Look at this. She is, there is no quit. There you see the gun pulled out again by Uji Shimada, pointing at it, saying that is a catch. Lina's a catch is when you're in a full-blown yeah. submission. Lena's stepping over, trapping her head. Taking some of the pressure off her arm and the triangle. You see Calderwood trying to work for arm bar. She, she could still potentially get the arm get bar from there. Lena's in big trouble. She's hanging tough. She got a minute here. Holder was really going for it. Phil, at this point, is this an air choke or is this a blood choke? Man, right here, it's a blood choke. This is all blood choke right here. It's all blood. Lena doing a good job stepping over. J just, just getting a little bit of that pressure off, though. Calderwood pulling down on the head, double down on the head. Now you see the frustration in Calderwood's face. Body shots by Lena. She's got to posture up one more time. Look at this, continuously Short time. stepping over. Unbelievable. Unbelievable defense. Wow. Head scissors. Head scissors oh, by Lena. There you go with those pro wrestling moves again. But this is going to be enough to get her out. She's got to protect that round. arm, though. She's got to protect that, that right arm. Oh, oh look at this. Holder with strong, pulls her back on top. Oh, there it is. It's safe. Lena's arm is out. Oh, no, she's she snuck her arm out. A nice knee to the body by Lena. No quitting that chick. <laughs> High look level jujitsu from a couple kickboxers Hooray. here, huh? Wow. Break. Calder would break. surprise me with some high level jiu-jitsu. Wow. Lena with the defense. That was a tough round there for Lena. Man, I mean, you're stuck in that choke for what, a minute or two, probably maybe longer. You gotta take that mouthpiece out of her mouth and give her some fresh air. Calderwood, I'm gonna give that round to her. I mean, she had oh, two yeah, or definitely. three without, catches. Without, without, without a doubt, that was her round. Once again, I'm here with a shirtless Phil Baroni, and joining us at the broadcast table is none other than CEO of the SFL, Kid Pavia, for another great women's fight. It's hot as hell in here, man. Even though we have an air-conditioned building here, I think Phil's the coolest guy in the building. Always, always, Ken. <laughs> always. Only Phil Baroni, folks. 
Look at this. This is where she was stuck in that triangle for a good minute and a half, two minutes. Unbelievable, unbelievable uh, guts by Lainey. You know, I, I would normally say nuts and guts, but she don't got the nuts. <laughs> but just guts, a lot of guts. I think you would have seen a lot of guys tap out from, a, from being in a choke for that long. I would hate to be in between somebody's legs for that long. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. What just popped into my head? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I know. I was thinking the same thing as I said that. Nice body hey. from Marlena. Hey. Left hook by Calderwood. She is looking worn down. Hey. Oh, straight right hand by Lena. She's tough though. Nice body shot. Another knee to the body. And look Calderwood at this. Going for the double leg. Drops down. to the knee and, and, <laughs> and just goes for it. Lena's coming, overcoming a broken right hand, so I saw her come out in a southpaw stance, which is something we normally haven't seen from Lena. Wow. Switching it up a little bit. Calder would lock the hand. She should go to secure the state. Bam! Nice job securing it. Lena nice. Lena lock her hands against the cage there. Good strength by Calderwood. Uh-oh. Lena giving it back, trying to get back to her feet. Yep. She has to move right now. Calderwood's high. Yep. What up first, which will get her over the top. She can't let her reinforce that, 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 that hand on her neck. And this is where Alina puts herself in danger. Nice back elbow by Alina. Not yeah. Nice back elbow. You know, just when, when you take somebody down with a big double leg, they get right back up to the knees and feet like nothing ever happened. Corbin's well, got the hook in, he's chopping away with right hands. No holding the Somebody's rubs. bleeding. No holding the rubs. See some blood on Alina's shoulder. They hit right in front of us. Looks like Calderwood's lip is bleeding a little bit there. And, and Lena's being very smart here. It's a hand fight. She's tying up Calderwood's hands, preventing any kind of choke. No holding yeah, this could also get the fight stood up a lot quicker. Look at this, Calderwood. She's got to turn hard if she wants to, you know, get out of this position. She's got to turn hard into her. Yep. Calderwood's trying to get that Walk choke. To finish. Let's go. Walk to Lena finish. doing good to tie up the hand again. A hand fight. And this is a tough woman's fight here. This, this is a bomb burner. Yeah, walk to finish. A lot of strength, a lot of hard body shots. Yeah, Need to look for the back elbow throw again. That back elbow again. If it lands, it, up. it potentially neutralizes your give opponent up. and gives you a little break. At least stops the onslaught. I think that choke wore Lena out. Uh oh, uh oh, looks tight. Oh, Calderwood. Oh, the mouth is open. This is choke not is tight. looking good. Calderwood squeezing. Lena reaching back for the hand, but it's a Gable. She's got to fight the hand. Yeah, Gable give Ken, you're right. It's hard to peel, but she seems to be oh. doing it. Lena's strong, a lot of heart. Oh, wow, wow. Amazing. fought that off, unpeeled that. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Figure four body lock. Unbelievable to find that hand, because usually the hand is straight behind your head. No, and that I've, Gable grip's very deceptive. I've half been there, Ken, and I went to sleep in the finish. same position. I, was, <laughs> I, I give her a lot of credit for finding the way out of there. But that, 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 that triangle on the body oh. is terrible. Oh, wow, look, look she, at this. she turned her hips. Unbelievable. Look at that flexibility. She turned her hips there. I guess when your waist is about 23 inches, oh. it could make a difference in getting out of a body triangle. But That's she is relentless. She's, she's, she's got that head. That, what we wrestle would call that a head kazoni. See, she head kazoni right there, right into the full guard. Nice, nice transition by Lena. Armbar, unbelievable. She was baited into that armbar. And Lena immediately puts a foot over. To, to neutralize the arm bar. She's going to suck that arm she's right out. She's an unbelievable escape artist, but I can't believe Calder was exchanging these submissions like this. I mean, she's attacking and attacking. Now, Lena's first bout here at the SFL is back and forth, seesaw battle, submission for submission. And finally, she just got caught. Look at this. Calderwood lets her up. Lena's going to get up to her feet. Yeah. I think Lena should try and stand her feet. Oh, Calderwood the trip. Good exchange here. Oh, I feel a suplex coming. Yeah. No gloves, Hess. Lena no gloves, is gloves. looking very fatigued. No gloves, Hess. Yeah, I mean, she's been fighting out of submission after submission. No Definitely uh, took her breath away in those chokes. At this stage, you think that Lena would want to keep this fight standing because clearly Joanne has, a, has the she advantage. She has the power advantage. It looks like she has more horsepower yeah. than Lena. But when, you, when you're in a choke for, for that long, you just never get it back. I mean, you have to have one killer gas tank to come back from having two minutes of restriction on your jugular veins. He's got a big space to punch here. No. One of the Bollywood Break. performers Break. 
Shaman Briggs before the show started tonight. Malika, she said the girls will steal the show. Here we're seeing a point taken away for repeated fence grab. Yushi Shimada did in fact warn her a number of times. It appeared he took a point away. We're back in the middle here, we see some exchange and fisticuffs. Nice kick by Lena. Calderwood nice, wants his fight to the ground. Nice takedown by Calderwood. She is getting the better of the stand-up. Well, she's getting better of the wrestling. Yeah, the yeah, better of the ground as well. I got, I got Lena behind both rounds. And a point. So we got two, two rounds plus a point. Lena needs to finish her. Yeah, she's got to finish this round or she is 100% going to lose this fight. Calderwood looks good here. Cola would have it in the back, body triangle. Lena with that tiny waist was able to escape this. I mean, she looked dead for rights here. Look at that. Gable grip, Dan Severn choke there. Lena just real tough. Look at that, just, just, just ripping the hands. Gets out of there, unbelievable. Look how tight that body triangle is. Reinforced with the foot underneath the hamstring. Real good hand fighting here. Real good defense by Lena. McCall with it all over with the submissions. This will be the third and deciding round. Lena's fate is completely in a submission or a TKO stoppage or, or a victory. That is the only way she can win Let's this go. fight against Joanne Calderwood. Touch gloves. You see Joanne, she's looking at the legs. You, you know she's going to kick the legs. Oh, high kick. Lena with a straight, no, straight no, left no, no. chin. And here we see Lena coming out in the southpaw stance, which is not normal here stance because of that injured right hand. Lena winging that hard left. Lena trying to land that too. Spinning back fist. Lena going for broke. She knows she needs a knockout. She's got to be careful with those kicks, not, not be so laid back. If you're going to plan them, plan them, but don't leave them there for Calderwood to grab it because she's utilizing that. She's exhausted. She's exhausted, Jeff. Yeah. She has never recovered no. from that first round. It's a four and a half minute triangle. <laughs> and she continues to stand that southpaw stand. She really needs to go orthodox and let that right hand go. It's pretty much her, one, she has one and done power in that hand. That's really what she needs to do to win this fight. Oh, oh straight left. Oh, nice combination by Lena. She's I'm still in this down. fight. She's got to fight as hard, that's for sure. I can't wait to see that shot on replay. That was a Definite car wreck, whiplash. Calderon keeps peppering her with that jab and keeping her Ooh, in bed. Oh, nice straight left by Lena. Oh, another hard straight left. She's trying to measure that, that jab. She's, she's coming over that jab with a left. Nice right hand by Calderwood. Oh, another straight left by Lena. Lena has the crisper, faster hands here. All the way going for the takedown. It. Timed it perfectly. Look at that. Let's see if she can sense that choke. Lena's best chance here is the submission. Calderwood is she's going for it. Yeah, Calderwood's strong. But look, she look, she's closing the guard. She has to get that right leg through. Oh, Calderwood just powers out. Yeah, Lena needs to get this back up or, or definitely work submissions from the ground. Look how fast the, uh, these women recover. Go up oh, to Lena the belly. He across the middle, up up the middle. Calder looks just, Calderwood just looks bigger, more physical than Lena. I'm impressed with uh, Calderwood's jiu-jitsu. Uh, yeah, she definitely had some jiu-jitsu. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Trying to make space, yeah. get back to her feet. Yeah. All the way from Glasgow, Scotland. Rel right. Relatively unheard of. You know, in the MMA half scene, half Calderwood time. is, is making time. a big showing here tonight. Oh, passes, passes by with a hard right hand. Calderwood doing damage on top. Lena might go over the top again with that with that roll escape that she does. She does it, giving her back. She's got to move right now. Calderwood throws that hook over oh, the top, no, no. left hook. Oh, hard shots oh, by Calderwood, hey, which is just right here. Yeah, they're thudding. I mean, once that makes impact with the head, it, it sinks through the she ring mat right all the way out to the wood. We can feel it move the floor. <laughs> Double the impact when you're up against a fence like that. Lena's got a tripod up here. That's her only chance. Shea Calderwood, get, get Calderwood high. Calderwood makes oh, it. That's a that was a headbutt right there. Yeah, Lena. Lena Two minutes left. Lena getting Two a little dirty. Left. 
Lena's got a huge mouth forming over her eye. It looks that like it's a, closing. A huge hematoma going Close on right show. there. Lena in desperation, do whatever she can. Oh, that looks nasty. No that fans, looks no fans. Nasty. There's several lumps forming no, as it no presses up against she the She has cage. to scramble here, scramble to her right and get on yeah, top if she doesn't have any chance. Fuck the Baldwin finish. doing a good job trying to sink that rear naked choke again. Let go. Lena maintaining control of Calderwood's left, left wrist. It's the only thing stopping her. One minute to go, Lena really needs a Hail Mary here in the final minute of the fight. Yeah. Look at the eye. I mean, the eye is going to close of Lena, like you said, Ken. It's, it's lumpy. No, keep going. You fight. Lumps on you there. fight. Keep going. It's Calderwood way. saying keep something up. to the ref. No. As Lena Money. is taking some punishment from the I think she was top. complaining about Lena holding the gloves. I think that she was complaining. Action! Yeah, Lena, Lena threw a blatant headbutt. I'm not sure if Uji Shimada saw that about yeah. uh, 40, 40 seconds to a minute ago. I, I don't think so. L you know, Lena's in desper no, de no, desperation. No, 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 She's trying to win no, the fight. No, 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 nice elbow no, no, by, no, by Coldwood. No, 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 Coldwood maintaining control. I mean, she has real good, real good leg riding ability. I, I am incredibly impressed with Calderwood. Ten seconds left, and she's still going for the choke. And there it is. It looks tight. No. Nope. Oh, she looks like, she, oh, here going for an arm bar towards the hey. end. What a fight, what a fight, ladies and gentlemen. And Lena does not look happy. Calderwood just, just, just too big, too strong, just, just too much for Lena. Doing push-ups in the center of the ring, Calderwood. Oh, listen to this crowd. This is, this is a hard crowd to please. I mean, yeah. they cheer for the Indian fighters. They cheer, they're obviously going to cheer for Bobby Lashley and James Thompson and Colt R. Gill. But to get this crowd to get an impressive pop like that, I got to hand it to Joanne Calderwood because she handed it to Lena. Yeah, she sure did. Bested her on the ground, where I definitely thought Lena would have had the advantage. She just outpowered her. Nice Look straight. Nice what? Straight left by Lena, another straight left. Lena was going for broke here. She knew she needed a knockout to win. Another one, boom. Whiplashville. Going for it though, Lena. All heart, going for it. Oh, there she landed another one. Coldwood definitely has a beard. She could take a shot. Oh, look at that, knock the head back. Whiplash, whap, whap. Lena running in, eats a jab. Another great women's fight coming out of Super Fight League as they're trying to take that swelling down on the right eye. The piercing blue eyes of Lena Ochenikova. A valiant, valiant effort, a great fight. She never, ever gives up. She fights her butt off. I mean, can't take anything away from her. She fights hard. But Calderwood, just, just, just too strong. Just, just too much for Lena tonight. Just out physical, in my opinion. Yeah, definitely. Calderwood, very impressive. The women of MMA, please take notice of one Joanne Calderwood as the dancing going on in the crowd once again. As we stated before, over 12,500 screaming fans here in Delhi, India. As we go up to Mr. Udom Tucker for our official verdict. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. All three judges scored about 30-26 for your winner. By unanimous decision in the blue corner is Joanne Calderwood. And Incredibly impressive performance from Joanne Calderwood.